In this episode of the Joe Rogan Experience, Joe Rogan is joined by comedian Joe List. They start off by discussing their recent shows at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas, and how much they enjoyed the atmosphere and green room of the venue. They also talk about the prevalence of smoking in comedy clubs and the potential issues it can cause. The conversation then shifts to the topic of substance abuse in the comedy world. Joe Rogan and Joe List reflect on their own experiences with alcohol and drugs, with List mentioning that he was always afraid of doing cocaine due to the negative things he had heard about it. They also discuss the challenges of sustaining a career in comedy while engaging in heavy substance use. The conversation takes a philosophical turn as they discuss the fragility of life and the fact that our hearts beat every second, and if they stop, it's the end. They also touch on the topic of organ transplants, with Rogan mentioning that scientists are working on genetically modified pig hearts that could be transplanted into humans. They then delve into the topic of genetic modification and the potential for humans to alter their physical attributes. Rogan expresses his excitement about the possibilities of genetic modification, while List jokes about wanting to have a stronger jawline and perfect eyesight. The conversation takes a darker turn as they discuss the disturbing content that can be found on the internet, such as videos of violence and body modification. They reflect on the impact of algorithms and social media on our exposure to different types of content. They briefly touch on the topic of terrorism and how it seems to have taken a backseat to other issues such as climate change. They also discuss the Patriot Act and the erosion of civil liberties in the name of national security. The conversation then shifts to the topic of crowd work in comedy. They discuss the prevalence of crowd work clips on social media and how it can encourage audience members to interrupt comedians during their sets. They also touch on the role of MCs in comedy shows and the trend of MCs in New York City focusing heavily on crowd work. They continue the episode by discussing the importance of rhythm and timing in comedy and the challenges of being a comedian in the age of social media. They also reflect on their experiences as comedians and the joy of performing in front of live audiences. The conversation then shifts to the importance of club owners in the comedy industry and the need for comedians to be respectful and appreciative of them. They discuss the challenges of finding the right location for a comedy club and the role of architects in bringing their vision to life. Rogan praises the architect Richard for his understanding of their concept and his ability to create the desired atmosphere in the club. They also touch on the topic of acquired tastes, using coffee as an example. Rogan shares his experience of trying coffee once and not enjoying it, while List discusses how he acquired a taste for green tea. They discuss the different ways people consume beverages and the preferences that develop over time. The conversation then takes a turn towards the synchronicity of certain events and experiences. Rogan shares his belief that there is more to the world than meets the eye and that there are connections and interactions between the mind and the external world. They discuss the phenomenon of Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon syncing up perfectly with The Wizard of Oz and the fascination surrounding such coincidences. They also discuss the prevalence of The Wizard of Oz in popular culture and how it has become one of the most referenced films of all time. They mention the iconic lines and scenes that have become ingrained in the collective consciousness, even for those who have never seen the movie. The conversation then shifts to the use of babies in movies and the challenges that come with it. They mention the infamous fake baby scene in American Sniper and the criticism it received. Rogan suggests shooting such scenes differently to avoid the use of fake babies and maintain the authenticity of the film. They also touch on the experiences of child actors and the potential negative effects of fame at a young age. Rogan shares his belief that many child actors struggle with their identity and have difficulty relating to others due to their unique experiences. The podcast continues with a discussion about living forever and the potential implications of extending one's life. Rogan speculates about the possibility of heaven being a realm of pure consciousness and questions the idea of living forever in a dystopian world. 
The conversation continues with a discussion about a hypothetical cyborg program where individuals sign up to have their souls transplanted into machines. They ponder whether this could be a form of hell, where people are trapped in a machine and lose their humanity. They also question the existence and nature of the devil, and whether the devil's trick is to make people believe he doesn't exist. The conversation then shifts to the impact of social media and technology on society. They express concerns about the addictive nature of social media and the negative effects it can have on mental health. They discuss the need for people to be more present and engaged in real-life interactions, rather than constantly seeking validation and entertainment online. They also touch on the potential benefits of technology, such as advancements in healthcare and the environment. They discuss the potential for AI to cure diseases, address climate change, and improve various aspects of human life. However, they also acknowledge the potential dangers of AI becoming sentient and surpassing human intelligence. The conversation then turns to the current political climate and the upcoming election. They express their concerns about the divisiveness and conflict in society, and the need for people to find common ground and work towards positive change. They discuss the importance of being informed and critical of the information we consume, particularly on social media. They also touch on the topic of boredom and the need for people to embrace moments of stillness and reflection. They discuss the benefits of activities like sauna sessions and the importance of taking time away from technology to allow for creativity and introspection. The conversation takes a lighter turn as they discuss the origins of the term cream pie in pornography and the potential appeal of certain sexual acts. They share their personal opinions on the matter and discuss the varying preferences and boundaries of individuals. The discussion continues with a conversation about Arby's venison sandwich and the recent launch of their big game burger. They also touch on the difference between reindeer and caribou, with Rogan explaining that reindeer are domesticated and used by certain cultures for transportation and food. The conversation then shifts to survival shows like Alone and Naked and Afraid. Rogan mentions a contestant on Alone and Naked who won by killing a moose with a bow and arrow and then defending his kill from a wolverine with a hatchet. They discuss the skills and experiences of these contestants and the challenges they face in the wild. The topic of climate change comes up, with Rogan expressing his belief that the Earth's climate has always been unpredictable and that humans are just one factor in the equation. He mentions the greening of the Earth due to rising levels of carbon dioxide, which acts as food for plants and contributes to increased leaf cover. They also touch on the pollution problem, particularly in the ocean, and the need for cleaner air and water. Rogan emphasizes the importance of eliminating pollution and taking care of the environment. The conversation then turns to movies and actors. They discuss their favorite Batman actors, with Rogan expressing his admiration for Christian Bale's portrayal of the character. They also talk about the Joker character and the different actors who have played him, including Heath Ledger and Joaquin Phoenix. Rogan mentions a documentary he is working on about comedian Tom Dustin, who runs a comedy club in Key West. He describes Dustin as a hilarious and fascinating comedian and discusses their different paths in the comedy world. The episode continues with Rogan expressing his appreciation for having List in town and the opportunity to hang out with other comedians. They mention Colin Quinn and his underrated brilliance, as well as the importance of supporting and promoting talented comedians. Joe expresses his fascination with watching people grow in their comedy careers and mentions that Colin's recent hour-long performance was one of the best he has ever seen. He praises Colin for constantly improving and attributes his success to better organization and focusing on specific themes for his specials. Joe also mentions his own podcast called Mindful Metal Jacket and reveals that he recently had Colin as a guest. They discussed Colin's creative outburst in the past decade and how he has become more organized in his material. Joe describes Colin's specials as a combination of stand-up comedy and one-man show elements, with brilliantly organized funny bits. 
Despite Colin's talent and success, Joe emphasizes that Colin has no desire to become bigger and is solely focused on creating great work. Joe admires Colin's dedication to his craft and believes that it is the most important aspect of being a comedian. The conversation briefly shifts to another topic, as Joe mentions that he has something to show the host. Although the details are not provided, Joe expresses his excitement and promises to send it to the host later. The podcast concludes with the host praising Joe and his comedy, encouraging listeners to check out his special on YouTube. Joe mentions that his special got demonetized for using the word cunt, but he remains proud of it. He shares his social media handles and promotes his three specials on YouTube, inviting people to see him perform live. Joe reveals that he will be flying to Skank Fest and then performing at Helium in Philadelphia. He expresses his love for the city and the venue, mentioning that the shows are mostly sold out. The host agrees and adds that Portland is also a great city for comedy, although it has been experiencing some challenges recently. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.